Okay, let's now play a few songs. Um, I cannot use for some reason the Cubase, so I need to use uh, another uh, tracker, um, which is called, I think, the Pro Tracker. It was an application on on the Mac some time ago. So I will first select the floppy which contains my MIDI files and then run the tracker. So here I'm using the yeah the version of the black and white monitor uh, because simply it's easier to play applications like the trackers. So I launch it and then we will just listen for a couple of files. Only able to play uh, MIDI files that I downloaded from the internet. I'm not a musician, so I just took a few samples. And uh, so it needs sometimes to import the file on this application. But uh, except this loading time, the rest should go rather smoothly. So here again the TNC is doing everything. Yeah? This is doing the VG output. It's uh, playing the emulating of course the Atari ST. And it's of course uh, in this case also through the USB controlling the synthesizer. So let's play it for a song. sometimes you need to slow down a bit the sound so I just wanted to mention the application I'm using is Master Track Pro and again I think it was an application that was popular on the Macintosh let's try another file a bit more uh, rock this time Yeah, 
uh, sorry for my little speaker, but uh, I found it would be more convenient to play through these uh, small Bluetooth speakers than using my stereo. But I think the quality of the sound is also not very, very good. of the, the synthesizer for the instrument is not perfect so some sometimes I'm not really uh, familiar with MIDI I don't know exactly if the, the instruments are always set up with every track I have the feeling it's not the case and I trace all the commands and I really don't see when I play the fight with this that there is some kind of setup of the instruments mostly things like volumes and these kind of things uh, but not really instrument so this one for some reason I need to disable one otherwise the song will, there is some piano which is played on the track which should be something else and it's uh, better to disable it so I will just disable I think it's this track Uh, it's good to stop now so yeah maybe the next step would be instead of uh, sending the command over MIDI to the synthesizer at the end doing all the job uh, maybe we should try to emulate the MIDI on the TNC so next to the ST emulator also they play back actually the samples over there but I'm not sure if somebody already creates such a library that you can uh, emulate uh, I don't know some basic um, at least some some tracks from a synthesizer something that would emulate a synthesizer I, I'm not very familiar again I'm not a musician I'm again most playing with these uh, these things uh, rather than trying to create myself anything okay that was it for the video I hope you enjoyed see you next time.